Well, I guess it's the uh, 26th today, going on 11 a.m. actually, exactly. We have extreme solar radiation management techniques uh, in play today, of course, as in every day. Just love those geoengineering projects, don't you? We should be finding out more about it. It's really uh, uh, windy today and still cool. And I think we're going to get in a high maybe a 51 today. Wow. There's the sun for you right there. See the guy leaving his line there. You think it's blue sky? Uh, right above me is the deck they're putting in. And uh, we can circle around. That's what I like about my property. I get so many good views, okay? And I'm telling you, Central Iowa is ground zero for America for geoengineering. Let me uh, just take you to my backyard here really quick. But just giving you a, a view of what to expect in your neighborhood and what to look for. See this? I gotta put on my glasses. Now let me show you here. I wear these uh, type of glasses when filming, if all possible, uh, to help protect my uh, eyes from UV. You see the side uh, protection there. Uh, I also have transition lenses on my uh, prescription. I don't have them on now uh, because they actually are, bi are bifocals. So um, it actually prevents me from being able to spot what I need to spot. I, I do better without them. Um, but there you go, the uh, chemtrails there all over. This is all chemical, ladies and gentlemen. None of this is a natural cloud formation. These are the decks that they're putting in <coughs> for this. All right, and they take advantage of it or try to minimize it, okay? And they not only put up clouds, but they also scrub the atmosphere as well. But today, all of this is chemical. Every bit of it. And uh, I also recommend, guys, when we have it uh, this prevalent, stay indoors at night, uh, if at all possible, and uh, keep the windows shut. Um, the particulates in the air are, are increasingly dense. If you go out there with a high-powered uh, um, flashlight, like an LED, you know, something like a million watt or, or a million candle, but, you know, one of those doesn't really have to be that bright. Just go out there with your flashlight and point it up or point it to the side and look at all the particles that are in your air from this, okay, that are at your breathing level, okay? And uh, even now uh, with this, but with the temperatures, they tend to stay aloft, but at night they fall and they scrub the atmosphere at night to allow the... Uh, the uh, ground to cool off because it's all about controlling the ground temperatures. They gotta allow a certain amount in and then out, in and then out of about the uh, solar radiation that comes through. That's why it's called solar radiation management. They control it. All right. And they're really concerned about the ground temperatures right now getting too warm, and then you get a kind of a runaway effect. So they gotta keep the ground temperatures cool. why it's cold today. It should be warm. We're, 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 we're 10, 12, 15 degrees below normal right now. I mean, I'm in my uh, heavy jacket, as you can see. But, just wanted to uh, show you what is going on here as they build in, in the layers. There's one guy up there, as you can see. Now, it's not about short trail, long trail. Okay. See the bleach white aircraft there? I don't know if I'm quite captioned because I got a reflection in my phone here. Sorry, guys. He's right up there going through that thick chemtrail. And they fly in, in certain flight patterns, usually from uh, uh, east to west, west to east, sometimes north to south. Uh, but normally uh, because of the wind directions. Uh, but you can see they laid a trail this way. 
That's a trail that has spread out that came out of an aircraft. Now, think about it. Okay, if you're not saying that this isn't geoengineering or weather modification, then it's air pollution. Right? And all these guys need to stop flying their airplanes immediately while we inspect what's causing this pollution. Well, see the deck that they got out there. And it's all about timing for when the sun, all right, arcs across the sky. See how it ends there? But the sun's going to go right through that. They build it so that it'll drift out in front of the sun. And as it does so, it casts shadows on the ground, too, to keep the ground cool. Wow. Okay, there's the edge. And it also helps them to uh, create wind, too, by the way. Control the temperature in and out. You control wind and wind direction. And I think they are employing a new technique as well when it comes to the deployment of chemtrails. I mean, you see this standard, uh, you know, line from horizon to horizon, or, or not just from horizon to horizon, but uh, the long trails that don't go away, as you can see, and they just spread out like this. And they have different compounds, aerosolized, uh, metallic, and siliconized par uh, particles. I think they do it something like a transition lens, you know, and it reacts with the sun. You see the uh, the uh, sun dog around it, the halo. So you got the sun there, but then there's the halo. That proves that's all chemical. I'm not buying ice crystals, not when it's that type of halo. Make sure I'm zoomed all the way out because we've got guys flying over right now. Just spectacular. And, and, and I'm telling you, it, they had this up in a matter of moments, okay? It doesn't take them long. There's one guy up there for you. Zoom in, possibly. This is the Solar Radiation Management Report from DeSoto, Iowa, on October 26. There goes my friend Mike Holm. You see how the blue sky, and it's like they <laughs> have it cut like a line with a pencil. And he knows what I'm out here doing. There's the moon for you right there where it's setting. And I've been watching, everybody's saying, oh, it's not setting in the right place. Well, I, I use earth markers. I don't rely on that data, okay, on that, it's out there on those satellites or whatever you're getting from NASA or whatever. I mean, sure. Uh, but, uh, you know, use your own markers on, on land, you know. Pick a tree and watch it set on one side or the other, you know. Film it. <laughs> and I encourage you to always film your local weather every day. Walk out here with your camera. Document. Okay, and save it on your computer. You don't need to upload it to YouTube. Just save it. You know, you never know when it might be needed. I cloud it out so just in case they might say, "Oh, well, we'll send a tornado his way and destroy his uh, drives and stuff." So, uh, <laughs> yeah, put it out on Facebook. Put it out on Google Plus. Put it out on YouTube. Put it out on whatever source that'll let you upload it. Start your own blogspot site, you know. Uh, you know, it doesn't have to be YouTube. And I, I just uh, I do it because it's, you know, what I've been used to the last few years. Look at that waving going out there, though. And like I said, they, they had this actually up uh, within under an hour. And we had the leaf apocalypse last night where half of our trees lost all their leaves in one day or less. But actually it happened in half of a day. And uh, 
even green leaves fell because we had a couple of nights freeze and then the sun hit it and then just all the leaves fell like right there you got a bunch of uh, walnut trees there that have no leaves but have a ton of walnuts still hanging on the limbs so uh, yeah that's what weather will do the weather did that it wasn't natural this unusual weather there we go another guy flying out there for you that's how you spot them film these guys people okay I got a better camera that I could zoom all the way in to him. I'm using my mobile right now for convenience sake. Uh, this thing does a pretty good job though for documentation and uh, ease of use. Uh, this is an 8 megapixel HD 1080p. It's a little shaky because of my hands. <laughs> I don't have a tripod or anything like that. There's another guy right there, as you can see. Another guy there. And this is what they build for you, your weather. So let's change our insurance policies, people, you know, make it so they have to pay you 200% return on any damage that happens, you know, they like to play insurance companies now like they're, they're casinos, well, let's make it so, you know, the guys who are buying the policies actually are the real winners from now on, because these are, uh, Events of uh, acts of men, not not acts of God. They're up there playing with the weather. I like to get long shots like this. There's another guy out there. He's right out there. So there's four guys that I've seen so far just in the last few seconds and all these guys are together they are flying in formations especially when they're not even allowed to fly that close to each other when you when I can get some good shots of that I mean they come within feet of each other literally <laughs> yep, there's that guy right out there pretty windy though Phone. Now this guy's gonna come on the other side of my trees here. He's still got their leaves. I'm telling you, we get wacky weather here in DeSoto. Some of the wackiest weather nowadays. I mean, I understand these other places are getting feet of snow in like North Dakota and Wyoming, and it's just amazing. this high solar activity so they're probably utilizing that energy that's incoming to generate these storms or to minimize storms they could do it either way see look at that halo right there the heck see how these clouds transfer the light Why did he do that? Where is he? He slowed way, 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 way down. There he is. He was going right off of the sun now. Oh, my doggies are coming out. Hello, doggies. Who let the doggies out? Have it, solar radiation management report coming from you from DeSoto, Iowa. Gee, 
your engineering right in your face. They say, well, why don't they make this public? Why don't they talk about it? Well, look, here it is. How much more public do you need it? Okay? It's up to you to get informed. God bless y'all, man. Stay safe.